In this video, we are going to talk about Python OpenCV face detection. To begin our work, first we need to install Python on our machine. So go to Python official website and in here you can find various kind of Python versions. However, I recommend you the most stable version of the latest Python to download. If you already installed Python, you can skip this step and go to next step. Then we need a good editor. So first type Jupyter Notebook on Google. Then you can see the result and you can go to the official website of Jupyter Notebook. And here you can find Jupyter Lab and Jupyter Notebook. For this task, I am using Jupyter Notebook. So click Jupyter Notebook and you can find various ways to install Jupyter using Conda, PYP, Voila and many other ways. So you can use any preferred way. Actually, I am using PIP to install Jupyter Notebook. As title mentions, our task is to recognize face. So first we need a good image. So I am using Unsplash to find a good image and I am typing faces of boys. So you can find my result. Uh, in here I am choosing the first one. It seems good. So click to download the first one. So you can use this first image to detect faces. You can see there are two faces in first image. If our code was success, we could be able to detect and separate those two faces. To detect our faces with OpenCV, we need to use train data. For this, I am using face detection ha cascade. So type OpenCV face detection default XML. In here you can find github link to that default font frontal face xml so click it and there you can see the code of that train data so the edits uh, click on the row in good help and uh, then you can find the data and if you right click you can save it as a xml file so save it into your working directory then we can begin our work to find faces Before we start our work, first we need to install some packages. So open command prompt and then type pip install opencv python. So you can see uh, pip opencv has installed. Then we need to install matplotlib to view our images in Jupyter Notebook. So type pip install matplotlib and then you can see that it will be installed in a few minutes. Uh, it will take actually a few minutes. Uh, after successful installation, we can uh, continue with our work. Let's see. We have to wait uh, a few moments. Uh, yeah, you can see the message successfully installed. Now we have already prepared the environment to develop our face detection algorithm. So right click on your working directory. Uh, you can, no, you need to shift, press shift and right click. Then you can see open PowerShell command in Windows. Uh, in Linux, you can uh, directly open terminal from the working directory. In here, you can type uh, Jupyter Notebook and uh, type Jupyter Notebook and press enter. Uh, you have to wait few minutes to until it Jupyter Notebook opens. Uh, it will open in a browser. So I am using Chrome browser. So in here you can see Jupyter Notebook shows our working directory. So click on new and create a new Python 3 project. So Jupyter Notebook save this project as dot uh, ipynb. Uh, so you can see so let's mm, change the title first. I am using the title Python OpenCV uh, face detection. Okay. Uh, first, uh, let's create a few cells that will be easier for later. Uh, then I am using Markdown to take some notes. I am creating a title. Uh, my title is uh, OpenCV face detection. Then I am creating a subtitle again. Markdown. 
I am using for uh, then uh, subtitle is import open CV and assign how cascade that is my subtitle so then let's begin for first we need to import open CV so for, to import open CV just type import CV2 after that we have to assign our XML file which we download from github for that I am creating a face cascade, cascade variable then I assign uh, our XML file using cascade classifier method in CV2 so just type cv2 dot cascade classifier and then you can input your file name which we download from github as the input so I am uh, inputting it at, a, at as a string uh, then to run this code you need to press control and enter not just enter control and enter then you can see it has successful run otherwise it will show error messages so then I am creating a new subtitle again so my next subtitle is read image and convert it to grayscale so to read image I am creating a variable name image and I am reading that image using the method in CV2 named I am read so in I am read I am uh, put the picture one JPG which is the name of my downloaded uh, image as the input uh, then again control enter then I am importing pyplot from math.lib as a PLT so just type this import code and after that I am uh, using plt dot show then I am using the image variable then control and enter so you can see our image uh, will show in the Jupyter Notebook. It is the advantage of Jupyter Notebook. Jupyter no in Jupyter Notebook, we can uh, view the results of our code in inline. Uh, but you can see an average. Our image color has changed. Actually, it's because the CV2. So first need to convert the CV2 BGR image to RGB. For that, I am using the CV2.CVT color uh, method for that i am creating a variable name rgb image and i am uh, using cvt.cvt color and put that image variable previous image variable and give the cv2 color as cv2 color to bgr to rgb so now again plt.im show so you can see that our image has fixed as we downloaded from the unsplash then uh, we can continue with our work because it's uh, now we have the original image we download so we need to create uh, convert the image into grayscale for that I am creating a variable name gr image in here you can see I am use again using the cv to CV, cvt color method uh, for now I am using the image color as cv2 dot color rgb to gray gr gray okay uh, then again plt dot im show to view our image in inline from jupyter notebook so again i am now putting the image gray image uh, then again control and enter now you can see our image has already turned into the gray scale so to or uh, uh, to work with open cv face detection method first we need to convert the image into grayscale that's why we uh, did this conversion process after that i am uh, try to detect coordinate of faces in this image using cv2 so first i creating a subtitle name uh, detect coordinates of faces after creating subtitle i am uh, creating an array named faces and this array in, in this array i am storing the coordinate of faces so i am using the face cascade variable we uh, created above so face cascade dot detect multi scale so 
redirect multi-scale first uh, we have to give few inputs to this first I am giving the image which is the gray scale image converted after the image I am using the scale Uh, in this scale factor uh, we have to mention the zoom of the image because some images can be more zoom and some images can be less zoomed so zoom in zoom out though you can play with this uh, scale factor with respect to image and again the min neighbors uh, and min size in min neighbors we have to because it uh, it is a uh, in uh, it checks the neighbors uh, from one to one actually it is uh, algorithmic way in deep learning method uh, so and I think uh, we don't need to dig into that uh, so just give uh, these variables uh, and uh, we can print faces so control enter so you can you see it has detect uh, six faces not six uh, it have detect uh, seven faces I think yeah it's seven faces uh, but uh, we can see only two faces in this image now I'm going to uh, draw a rectangle around those de detected faces in original image so I am importing original image again so create an image variable again and using OpenCV imread method to again import the original image because uh, the uh, before imported image uh, we have converted those image into Mary uh, color rates color grades uh, gray scale RGB and likewise so I am using the original image and I am using for loop to iterate over the arrays of coordinate arrays actually each coordinate arrays uh, represent the x position y position width and height of those uh, detected faces so i am using for x y w h in faces we are going to draw a rectangle so using the cv2 dot rectangle method we can draw a rectangle so cv2 dot rectangle uh, we give image and starting position of the rectangle is x and y and the ending position of rectangle is x plus w and y plus h so we are given the coordinates starting coordinates and the ending coordinates of the rectangle and we can give the color of the rectangle then we have to give the thickness of the rectangle uh, we are giving 20 as the thickness of this rectangle uh, you can remember that uh, if you directly import the images from CV2, you can uh, remember that uh, it ha it will import as a BGR image. So we need to convert it to the RGB image. So I am creating a variable name RGB image, and again using the CVT dot CVT color, and put a new image as input. And our color is uh, I am using color as cv2 dot color bgr to rgb as shown uh, in previous case uh, so uh, to view this image in line i am using the plt dot im show and use our rgb image to view those faces uh, so just click control and enter we have to wait uh, until it shows image so you can see the image and it you can see the four faces uh, actually two faces and uh, there are uh, wrong face detections in this um, case so you can I previously said that you can play with those uh, values so I am changing the scale factor into 1.5 and let's run again so you can see uh, our image array only detect two faces and let's view the what those two faces are so you can see now it direct uh, detect uh, the two faces correctly after changing the scale factor uh, so uh, you can see uh, our algorithm detected two faces however now I am going to separate uh, those two faces into two images so we can do our further analysis of uh, those images like uh, age prediction, facial detection, uh, mask face mask detection and likewise so I am using uh, array named IMS and uh, put those detected faces 
uh, into x y w h and i am crop the uh, detected faces from the original rgb image so uh, since uh, cv2 uh, install image as an array of arrays we have to give the starting position of those image and the ending position of those image as a, a subdivision array so I am after cropping that array. Uh, I am uh, append that cropped ar uh, image array into the IMS. So, uh, control and and I am going to plot uh, in show the first element of array, which is the first face. You can see we can uh, view that uh, face separately, and I am going to plot the second face in the detected array as the second plot so you can see we can we have now view uh, uh, both faces separately so that's what uh, we, this video is intended to show you can detect two faces and we can uh, separate those faces so thank you for watching this thank you for watching we hope this was very useful for you we are hoping to bring you more if you enjoy support us by like share and subscribe.